I'm MacGyver. Um, being an art teacher in a small town means I had no budget. I'm a digital dumpster diver. In those days, you know, and this is early 2000, 2000 to 2002. In those days, I'm directing theater and I'm told, hey, this year is going to be your last play. Uh, we're cutting the budget. It's a thousand dollars a year. I got 50 kids who this is their Super Bowl. They don't do anything else. And I know if they can act on stage in front of 500 people, they can handle themselves in front of a board at a corporation that I know I'm teaching something important and I can't let it just be cut with the stroke of a pen. I can't. So what do I got to do? I got to some pig my program, some pig. What does that mean? Something great's got to be in the web, literally in the web. So that because people write this down, people protect what they've learned to be proud of. And it's our job to teach them that. And the problem is, is that we're so busy doing the job, sometimes we're accidentally humble to the point of extinction. See, mm -hmm. the naysayers yeah. are in the cafe talking about your program without knowing anything about it. And they're winning because we're not talking. Well, I can't. I'm so busy teaching. Too bad all these devices don't have cameras. They do. So where are the student film crews doing the documentary about the awesome, engaging, real world, important project that you're doing? There's no excuse anymore. Stop being secret geniuses. Stop that. Mm -hmm. So I need the taxpayers and I live in a small town. I need them to know what to say. So here's what, oh, that Honeycutt's wasting money buying cameras for that film program. And then someone says, do you even know what he's doing? Because he's putting out all this information. Let me show you some pictures. He's got 50 kids in this movie. Last year, he had 12 kids in the play, 50 kids in the movie, 10 adults, including me in the movie. He wrote the movie. Okay. So it's costing how much? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I did. I, I casted a movie and I did it. And it was called The Ghost of Inman Ha. 